Hey, what's up guys? This is Ash Knox. Happy New Year to everyone in advance. Happy 2021. We got a thousand Sky Stones. Everyone will get a thousand Sky Stones. Just log in into the game. I'm going to be talking about multiple things in this video. So we got the patch notes, but I'll be reviewing. Quick review of uh, four heroes. So there is Mort's banner that's going to expire. There's Fairytale Tenebria that is still going to be up for a week. And then we have two new banners. So Sigrid and Lilibet. So let me quickly uh, talk about these heroes and maybe you can figure out who you should be uh, pulling for we're getting weekend buff events again so very cool free unequip event and all these buff events are happening happy farming to everyone if you want to play epic 7 or other mobile games on your computer go check out the link in the description and uh, if you're looking for a new phone i got a great one for you guys a budget phone very high performance there's a link in the description as well okay patch notes here we got a few things in here but it's mostly about these four heroes so second week for this uh, special side story adventures in a winter wonderland i didn't even start farming uh, this side story on all four accounts this is gonna be crazy so these uh, heroes are getting a buff in this side story and uh, these are the artifacts that will get you more of this uh, this event currency you don't need to actually uh enhance those artifacts you just need to limit break them so the four star artifact which everyone's gonna get you know just uh, you know limit break that thing don't enhance it uh, unless you're gonna want to use it so that's the look of the zone here and uh, let's look at this real quick there's a uh, gear as well and, and catalyst so uh, get all that good stuff happy uh wow well, good luck with the rolling i mean uh so we got cigarette of course cradle of life and a little bit and creation and destruction so ah, this is gonna be uh hard for some players to decide who to go for to be honest little bit is not a, a top contender it's now it's gonna come down to fairy tale tenebria and sigrid to a lot of players to be honest after playing with all these heroes you know i played with uh, mort at plus 15 skill ups i have sigrid at plus 15 sk uh, skill ups i have little bit at plus 15 skill ups i've tried all these heroes now for fairy tale and embryo i don't have her at, at plus 15 skill ups so my review is not complete just yet we got new heroes in the coin shop so the covenant coin shop you got crow and charlotte so here's your chance and for the galaxy coin shop you got martial artist ken definitely a great combo with fairy tale tenebria you can go check out my uh, showcase of fairy tale tenebria and uh, i mean it's a lot of fun immortal uh, martial artist can give immortality using ml Akates. it's shooting star Akates. it's a lot of fun and uh, we got a new powder of knowledge uh, rotation here and you should be getting your bottle of knowledge uh, because like every rotation i like to get that because I can limit it break like a, a limited uh, artifact. So that's very powerful. Of course, I can't get it every time because, uh, I mean, I don't have an unlimited amount of, uh, you know, powder. But out of this list, to be honest, like, Shimaja's staff is definitely uh, one of the, you know, better ones and most useful ones. Because it's going to be boosting the green numbers across your whole team. You just need to wear that on a Soul Weaver on your team. And it's actually very, very powerful. Now to talk about Mort real quick, he's actually quite hard to gear for. Uh, his uh, his kit is pretty random. You know, you need Elbris Ritual Sword on him. You got the potential of triggering the, uh, the buff here, Sacred Blessing, which would potentially, you know, allow your team to not receive uh, critical hits because of the uh, you know the critical hit resistance buff but it's a lot of ifs he's immune to stun and sleep which is really good uh but he's got like he's got defense break on skill one which is extremely powerful he ignores effect resistance when he does have uh uh, the rage buff when he's enraged after using skill three so landing the fans break against high effect resistance uh, heroes is is very very powerful and with elbris ritual sword with counter set like you you're increasing your chances of making that stuff happening and uh, triggering that uh, sacred blessing which can definitely be a game changer you know uh, if you if you're lucky right if you're lucky uh, he's hard to gear for because you need to have a lot of health. You need to have a lot of stats on this hero. You don't need the effectiveness uh, per se because you have the ignore effect resistance when you have the rage buff on yourself. But still, uh, you need to boost his health. 
have some defense, you need to have, uh, you know, 100% crit chance, uh, some crit damage, and the health needs to be pretty high as well. You need some speed so he cycles fast. You can destroy maximum health of the enemy team. He is Earth, so of course, if gonna if they're gonna counter pick with uh, a fire or fire heroes, you're gonna be at a great uh, disadvantage uh, in World Arena, so you have to worry about that. But yeah, after my testing, he makes things happen. Uh, the playstyle is on the slower side. He's definitely not uh, Charles. He uh, doesn't provide, you know, an attack buff for your team. Uh, attack break is the uh, defensive uh, option, but he's got defense break. I mean, he's a powerful hero. He's a knight having uh, the access to knight artifacts. Uh, it's just that he's not limited, of course, and uh, he will not fit everyone's playstyle. He's a bruiser, slower playstyle, and uh, yeah, not everyone's cup of tea, really. It's hard to justify pulling for a little bit when there's a hero like Glenn, which is a three-star hero in the game with the same type of mechanics. Like, he's got Extinction, he has 15% hit chance, a little bit has 20% hit chance, which is better. She's getting skill no fire. Uh, she's got an exclusive equipment, her base stats, they are better than Glan. So that's the type of stuff that you do have to keep in mind. But I feel like a little bit is more geared toward, you know, spenders or uh, players that, you know, have already like some of the, the meta heroes in the game and they're trying to push that, you know, extinction damage. So a little bit could be good in that department because she deals more damage than Glan if she has attack buff. She's not self-sufficient because she doesn't have attack buff in her kit. Glenn has greater attack buff, so I can compare both heroes. They have the same gear, right? And the conclusion is, because I'm not going to go through all the numbers, but uh, the multiplier of a uh, little bit skill number three is better than Glenn, and it's better by quite a bit. 37% better multiplier if I factor in the exclusive equipment So uh, for the skill number three. So that is quite considerable. Uh, they both have 27% crit chance, which is uh, quite solid, but a little bit has better survivability. And a little bit, uh, I didn't factor in her memory imprint, which is going to be harder to get than Glenn. Glenn, I have him, when I'm comparing both, it's a little bit with no memory imprint, and Glenn has triple S memory imprint for that 144 uh, flat attack, which uh, boost only the, the base attack. It's not like uh, getting multiplied by uh, by the gear, by the way, guys. So actually, 144 flat attack for Glenn is actually 15.6% of his base attack, which is actually quite considerable. And it's it's nearing what uh, five-star heroes are getting on their, uh, you know, their self-memory imprint, which is pretty uh, considerable. Uh, it's quite good. So Glenn is definitely way easier to obtain. Uh, you know, Glenn, his uh, soul burn is actually so powerful, he gets uh, almost 50% more damage when you soul burn, for, soul burn his skill number 2 for uh, 10 souls. A little bit, uh, little bit is 30% more damage when you soul burn her S3 for 10 souls. So I'm thinking Glenn, you could even, if you have Unseen Observer Ranger Artifact, you could wear that on Glenn. It's going to be better than Portrait of the Saviors uh, because it's almost 50% more damage. It's actually 46.7% more damage. So keep that in mind, guys, if you're trying to squeeze that extra bit of damage against like an Arbiter Vildred when there's multiple layers of protection like Fallen Cicely Barrier, uh, Aureus. If there's like Adam and Shield, like it's gonna, you're going to need some pretty crazy gear on your Glenn to actually pull it off. Uh, he has 15% hit chance. If he has Moonlight Dreamblade, that Arbiter Vildred, there's a 5% uh, chance you actually uh, he 5% chance he evades so you gotta keep that in mind a little bit has that 20% uh, hit chance so yeah conclusion is with the same gear no memory imprint on a little bit triple S for Glenn uh, yeah a little bit is able to deal 36% more damage but she needs a tag buff that's two slot in the team right there but Glenn, he can be self-sufficient, way more flexible uh, than Lilibet. So keep all that stuff in mind and uh, you can uh, decide by yourself who, uh, who's going to be the, the better choice for you. Another thing with uh, Lilibet is that skill nullifier can be quite uh, handy, you know, uh, on top of having some pretty decent ability on this hero. Uh, she's a warrior, so she has access to warrior artifacts. So you could be even using like maybe an Iberius Toot on this hero. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, quite a few options uh, for you and a symbol of unity, the artifact from uh, Guild War. You can wear that on Glan or a little bit and you could be using that to uh, against like a, a Remnant Violet. You could be using that versus like a Mirsa, uh, you know, a hero that has a lot of evasion uh, to, to potentially counter that, uh, that evasion. So you can actually land your hit and not miss. So just a few ideas for you guys. And a little bit, uh, she's a warrior. So, I mean, you could try stuff like Sigurd Sight and you could have fun with uh, 
some stuff like that. And if her damage is higher, that means you could build her more on the like bruiser side. I guess you can increase her health uh, some more, her defense some more as well, which could make up for some interesting stuff. Sigrid is definitely the queen of wyvern she helps so much in there she has so many debuffs her stats her, they're great you can be using her in pvp as well we're talking about extinction uh heroes like sigrid and little bit and to be honest like sigrid can be used as an extinction hero in pvp as well instead of using little bit instead of using glan so you've got to keep that in mind and uh, this hero is actually very dangerous in PvP. She gets an extra turn with the Soul Burn on her skill too. So you could build her slow and, uh, you know, attack percentage boost. Uh, you could have her on uh, Destruction, could have her on, on Attack Set, just so she hits as hard as possible. Uh, I mean, you could have her on Rage if you're able to land a debuff in PvP. And the thing is that if you use skill number two and the target drops below 50% health, you will attack again with skill number one. So that is actually very dangerous. And with her exclusive equipment, she can actually trigger that thing if the target is at 70% uh, health or, uh, or less with, uh, after using smash. So very devastating. You can use this skill number two and take out someone skill two and to the skill one automatic and then the extra turn means you can finally do your extinction versus that annoying hero like arbor of vildred so you should be wearing an artifact like the uh symbol of unity uh from guild war so you can actually you know land your attack with uh the uh the hit chance from that artifact that 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 hit chance is going to be huge and it will allow you to counter moonlight dream blade uh, so a symbol of unity is uh, great for that. And if you have more attack on her, well, that's going to be great. To be honest, for Wyvern, you don't need memory imprints for her. It's about having as much uh, crit damage as possible and speed. Of course, you need 85% crit chance to have 100% crit chance versus fire. You're getting 15% for free. So Sigrid, in early game, if you don't have her, if you didn't check my guide, if you didn't go for Sigrid at the start with your account and you're struggling in Wyvern, Sigrid is definitely going to be a great choice and she's going to be better than uh, Fairy Tail Tenebria in Wyvern. Like, by far, it's not even comparable. So, yeah, uh, Wyvern should definitely be uh, on top of your list in terms of what you need to be farming in the game and that will set you up for the rest of the game because it opens up crazy gear uh, you can do some crafting and boost your stats by a lot uh, you know speed set is great uh, crit set is great hit set is great a lot of value out of those sets you can't go wrong when you are farming wyvern so secret is definitely a top contender out of those four heroes so definitely like keep all that stuff in mind and all these debuffs that she's able to apply you know the bleeds uh the unhealable more bleeds and the penetration of defense based on how many debuffs are on the target you know that's 30 percent to start off and then an additional 10 percent per debuff so it's very easy to have a lot of debuffs with this hero and the rest of your team versus wyvern allowing you to penetrate a lot of the target's defense which means when you have an artifact like daydream joker that deals damage based on the target's max health you're gonna scale that damage even further and daydream joker that's why i'm saying like get that 85 percent crit chance and then get as much crit damage and speed as possible so you can scale that uh, daydream joker damage as much as possible and get 65 percent effectiveness on her so you can land your uh, debuffs against the boss and it's gonna make your life so much easier when you have this hero and she's not only you know great in wyvern you can be using her in a lot of other areas of the game so like i said in pvp on a slow build especially if you're pushing her with ox lot you got the 20 souls from tagil's ancient book she's gonna do great man she can potentially take out two heroes because of that s2 into s1 and finally s3 to take out someone else with the extinction very very powerful stuff so the conclusion who should you be pulling for you're an early game player, you're a mid game player, you're struggling with Wyvern, Sigrid will be the way to go. But Fairy Tail Tenebria will not show up until another year, so you've got that to worry about. If you like what you see, if you like her skill set, if you feel like control is something that you can enjoy, then yes, uh, go for Fairy Tail Tenebria. Sigrid 
Yeah, like you don't need her to make it happen in Wyvern. You can do it with a free-to-play team without Secret. You know, you can have Crozette in front, you can have Furious or Tarnor Guard, Defense Breaker, and then you can have like Alexa and Misty Chain. I have videos covering that stuff, so go check them out. So the smarter choice is to go for Fairy Tail Tenebria. And then Sigrid would be on top of my list. That is for sure. If you are struggling between Fairy Tail Tenebria and Mort last minute, you know, choice, then Fairy Tail Tenebria can be built as a bruiser and be very cancerous. She's limited, Mort is not. So Fairy Tail Tenebria would be the way to go. Mort, you might end up pulling him. Uh, you know, someday, Sigrid, you might be able to pull her someday, and uh, a little bit, you might be able to pull her someday from just random summon. So, you have to factor all this stuff in, and the smarter choice is gonna be Fairy Tail Tenebria. Of course, she's limited. You never know, maybe she gets buffed. You know, uh, Ceres, I didn't expect a buff on that hero, she was already very useful. So, I mean, she could get buffed. I, I would not expect it because she's already very dangerous, her kit is something unique and can definitely turn the tide of the battle so i wouldn't expect a buff if she gets like ignore effect resistance on her skill 3 that would be completely ridiculous and control would be too powerful i could expect something like that like ignore effect resistance with some something like a mechanic like this on a hero that is a moonlight five star hero not an ice limited hero yes it's very powerful it could happen it could happen it's dealing damage so elemental disadvantage versus earth or, you know, uh, if you miss your attack because you're dealing damage, uh, she could have ignore effect resistance. Like, don't quote me on that. She could get buffed and get it. But she's not going to be as dangerous as a light or dark elemental hero that had ignore effect resistance, you know. Uh, so, so yeah. I mean, uh, she's the smarter choice. And then, like I said, Sigrid. Uh, and then it's going to be like Mort. And it's going to be finally a little bit if I had to order them. And I would even put like Mort as second if Bruiser is your playstyle. And Sigrid, like I said, there's other heroes that can do it in Wyvern. And you probably already have this stuff on farm if you're uh, thinking about Fairy Tail Teneria versus Mort. Let us know about who you're going to summon in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like. If you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Ashenox. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now. And Happy New Year.